And Canyon-based real estate firm Home Africa is restructure, restructuring its operations to improve its performance on the Nairo Nairobi Stock Exchange. Now, the company plans to bounce back as a leader in the Kenyan real estate scene. Home Africa has been facing challenges which have led the company to close some of its projects and concentrate on completing selected ones. Now, the company is also facing low performance at the growth and enterprise market segment at the Ni uh, Nairobi Stock Exchange. The real estate firm recently released their financial results recording 18 percent growth in revenues well joining us to discuss the company's operations is ceo dan awendo you're very welcome to the show sir thank you sir well let's just start by looking at the numbers you recorded a seven percent increase in losses in 2017 as we mentioned an 18.5 uh, percent jump in revenues we also saw your share price uh, down just over to just over one shilling from highs of 25 shillings uh, before what's the story behind these numbers give us a sense of the company's financial position today I think the first thing that we need to understand is how we uh, present the financials. Um, the revenue that we post in our, in, our, in our financials are usually adjusted against uh, percentage of completion of our projects, which means that if we uh, sell, uh, like in 2017, we do, did sell gross sales of 921 million shillings, but you can't post all of that uh, based on uh, international financial recording, uh, reporting standards. So what happens is that you have to adjust the revenue to be able to complement this, the, the state of completion of the projects that we had. So which means that f we, even though we are looking like we have increased revenue, by only a small percentage, we have actually increased by a much larger percentage. A and yet the expenses that we've incurred to achieve that revenue growth is all taken into account when we are you know, putting together the financials. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's all a matter of how to understand, how to read the financials to give a better uh, perception of what we are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, explain that to uh, me a little bit more because we know that the company did uh, face a cash crunch uh, at some point. We did see the stalling of some of your key developments here uh, in Nairobi. Last we he heard, you were engaging investors now to raise capital right. for these stalled projects. So right. give us a sense of... So the, the, the restructuring process has taken us through um, um, a, a model where we have to bring down uh, uh, some of the projects that we are doing so we can prioritize on the projects that would be more profitable but also that we have resources for. And so some of our projects we sort of shut them down or just held them down for purposes of fundraising. But we're going to go back to them once the, 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 you know, the primary project that we are focusing on now is completed. Uh, at the end of the day, it is about h how you create value for the stakeholders of the company. And the, the first thing you do really is concentrate on the projects that create the most value. And that's what we're doing. So we, we, we went into MIGA, which is our largest and to date most profitable project. Uh, and that is going to take a lot of our resources over the next couple of years before we move back to the other projects. Now ex our expectation is that down the road, like all uh, real estate projects, most of the profits you know, comes towards the end, not at the beginning. And so at the beginning, in even our prices on the stock exchange is being affected by the fact that we are posting annual, annual losses, and yet the profits are sitting in a balance sheet, and that will come through down the road. Mm -hmm. So my expectation is that long-term investors will, uh, will reap uh, the benefits of investing in the company. Short-term investors will always have a problem. Now, your company has been implementing a turnaround plan uh, over the last two years. Give us, give us certainly an update on this plan and how uh, you're seeing the trends in Kenya's real estate market impacting your business. Right. So the restructuring uh, is taking us through three main areas. Uh, number one is uh, changing the governance structure, uh, which means you know, re reviewing the board, looking at the skills at the board, looking at the board instruments, looking at the board structure, and ensuring that we have a team at the board level that uh, you know, can really help us move the company to another level. The other side of uh, governance is management, just looking at removing all the silos that we had in the company before, creating a very robust performance-based organization. And that was, uh, is a key uh, part of what, what we are doing. The second area is looking at our business model. Liquidity in a company that is struggling is always a matter of concern. And so what we've done over the last two years and what we're probably going to do over the next two years is focus on generating liquidity that help us meet day-to-day -day obligations, 
but also help us to invest in the new projects that we are looking to invest in. Mm. And then finally, looking at the shareholder value. Remember, shareholders have lost a significant amount of value over the last couple of years. We know that that value has not actually gotten lost. That, lo that value continues to sit in the balance sheet of the company. So our expectation is to get people to understand our financials, see the value that is sitting in their accounts, see the value that is sitting in the business, and wait on for us to complete our projects so they can reap the profits that they are there. Mm. Now, in terms of some of the new projects you'll be looking at going mm. forward, uh, we have heard that the government is planning to build half a million uh, uh, new homes, mm. decent low-cost houses, they call it, by 2022. Right. How will this play into the property development market, the real estate market, uh, going forward? And do you plan uh, to get in on this? So that uh, plan is very ambitious. We, we think it's a fantastic uh, you know, plan for this country. We believe that uh, a push of half a million houses into, into the economy is first of all, of all going to start stabilizing some of the prices that we are seeing have been going up over the last few years. Our expectation, therefore, is that our involvement must then augment and support government in making sure that these houses are delivered. We feel that we want to first be very clear the actual sector that we want to play within the value chain that is being looked at through by government. Mm. And we think that by being a catalyst, since we are a, a, a listed company, we can be a very good catalyst for access to capital and for the, you know, for the delivery of units to uh, mortgage buyers. Because at the end of the day, without capital, that number of units cannot be fed into the market. Mm -hmm. Well, we'd love to continue the discussion, but many thanks uh, for joining us in the studio. Of course, that's Adana Wendo, CEO of Home Africa.